hello friends most welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will discuss about the paradigmatic and syntagmatic relations in linguistics we will discuss about the paradigmatic and syntagmatic relations in detail but in simple words just to let you understand these two subtle concepts and to mentally grasp it so let us start our discussion on the paradigmatic and syntagmatic relations in linguistics okay so what is a paradigmatic relations a paradigmatic relation exists between the words of the same linguistic category or more specifically words of the same class for example nouns verb adjective and adverbs etc being in a paradigmatic relation words can be exchanged for each other in a sentence without degrammaticalizing the sentence in simple words we can say the sentence will grammatically stay correct if words in a paradigmatic relation are exchanged for example, the nouns girl, boy, woman, man, cat or dog are in a relationship, yes, in a paradigmatic relation. In other words, they are paradigms of each other. And also the verbs smile, read, play are also in a paradigmatic relation. For example, the girl smiled. The boy smiled, the women smiled, the man, the cat, the dog smiled. So all of these nouns, the girl, boy, women, man, cat, dog, are paradigms of each other. And we can also say that the cat is reading, the cat is smiling, the cat is playing. So the verbs reading, smiling, playing are all in a paradigmatic relation to each other. Okay, so what are paradigms? Paradigms are words of the same linguistic category or same linguistic clause that play a particular syntactic or grammatical role in the sentence. The paradigmatic relation describes the substitutional relation between the words of the same clause. The substitution occurs horizontally. For example, you can see the table here. The handsome boy is reading, the old lady is reading. So the praises, the handsome boy and the old lady, they are paradigms of each other. And more, we can see a cute cat is playing in the garden. A cute cat is drinking milk. So flying in the garden or drinking milk these praises are in a paradigmatic relation to each other and the paradigmatic relations are horizontal because the substitutions of words occur horizontally okay so what is meant by syntagmatic relations a syntagmatic relation simply exists between the words of a sentence syntagmatic relation is sequential in other words, it is about the positioning of words in a sentence. If the positions of the words is altered or changed, the meaning of the sentence changes entirely. For example, the girl is reading a novel. A novel is reading the girl. Okay, so the word girl and novel is said to be in a syntagmatic relation. A syntagmatic relation explains how the word's position determines the meaning of the sentence. Okay, so what is a centum? A centum is any linguistic item, phoneme, morpheme, words, or phrase that is in a sequential relation to other linguistic items. And if their sequential position is altered, the meaning of the sentence awkwardly changes. For example, a man is driving the car, the car is driving a man. So a syntagmatic relations explain 
how the sequential positioning of words determines the meaning of the sentence. Okay, here we have another example just to show about the syntagmatic uh, relations, about the sequential nature of the syntagmatic relations. The handsome boy is reading a book or a book is reading the handsome boy. So this example shows clearly about the sequential nature of syntagmatic relations. Actually, in a syntagmatic relation, the words are in a sequential relation to each other. Okay, let us clearly differentiate between this paradigmatic relations and syntagmatic relations. Paradigms of words are the same linguistic category or class that play a particular syntagmatic or grammatical role in the sentence. On the other hand, a sentence is any linguistic item morpheme words or phrase that is in a sequential relation to other linguistic items or words. Okay, a paradigmatic relation exists between the words of the same linguistic category or more specifically the words of the same class, for example, nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. On the other hand, a syntagmatic relation simply exists between the words of a sentence. It explains how the sequential positioning of words determines the meaning of the sentence. In fact, a paradigmatic relation is about the substitution of words. On the other hand, a syntagmatic relation is about the positioning of words. For example, uh, the paradigmatic relations, the handsome boy is reading a book. Or we can say the cute girl is reading a book. So the noun praises the handsome boy and the cute girl. They are in a paradigmatic relation to each other. And here we have another example that clarifies the syntagmatic relations. The handsome boy is reading a book. A book is reading the handsome boy. So the words the handsome boy or a book are centum of each other or in other words they are in a syntagmatic relation to each other okay let us summarize our discussion in summary paradigmatic relation refers to the substitutability of linguistic elements within a category while syntagmatic relation pertains to the sequential arrangement and compatibility of elements within a sentence or utterance Understanding these relations helps us analyze language structure and organizing organization at various levels. Okay, let's know more about the paradigmatic and syntagmatic relations. In linguistics, the concepts of paradigmatic and syntagmatic relations are essential in understanding the structure and organization of language. These relations are primarily derived from the structural linguistic theory developed in the early 20th century. Ferdinand Sachwa is considered the founder of the structuralist linguist. Structuralist linguists analyze the structure of language and how meaning is embedded in words and sentences. Paradigm and syntax are two concepts and semiotics. And semiotics is a branch of structuralist linguistics. Semiotics is about how meanings are produced by signs. Semion is a Greek word which means sign. Okay, a sign has two parts, a concept and a sound image. Okay, according to Shashua, the concept is the signified and the sound image is the signifier. For example, dog. The sound dog is the signifier, while the idea or concept of a domesticated four-legged animal commonly kept as a pet is the signified. Chair. The sound chair is the signifier while the idea or object of a piece of furniture designed for sitting on typically having a back and four legs is the signified car the sound car is the signifier 
while the idea or concept of a motor vehicle with four wheels powered by an engine and used for transportation is the signified. Okay, now let us know about the types of paradigmatic relations. Number first, synonyms, words that have similar meanings such as big and large. Number second, antonyms, words that have opposite meanings as hot and cold. Number third, hyponyms, words that are more specific versions of a broader word. For example, apple, banana, and orange are all hyponyms of the word fruit. Number fourth is homonyms, words that sound the same but have different meanings such as bank, financial institution, and bank, riverside. Number fifth, collocations, words that frequently appear together such as strong coffee or fast car. Okay, now let us know about the types of syntagmatic relations. Number first is word order. The sequence in which words appear in a sentence is called the word order. For example, in English, the subject typically comes before the verb. Number second is the sentence structure. The arrangement of phrases and clauses within a sentence such as subject verb object or subject verb adverbial structures number third is grammatical agreements the agreement between different parts of a sentence such as subject verb agreement in terms of a number and sentence so tense. number fourth is dependencies the relationship between words within a sentence such as the subject depending upon the verb or the object depending on the verb okay thanks for watching the video and please do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel still if you have any confusion or any question you can ask in the comment section or you can messages on instagram or facebook